Hello, welcome to my channel and today we're going to show you what this is, my Honda here, family Honda, leak transmission full of crazy, it was just drip, you start the car, it starts to drip crazy, okay? The problem was this line rusted about like somewhere in the middle here, it's down below, right by the front bumper in the bottom, so it is going to get rusted, but the family member went to a local place, to a local shop, and they said $400. It's $40 piece, ignore the phone, and $120 lira and $10 transmission fluid, and that's gonna be your fix if you wanna do it yourself, and check this out. All right, before anything, I'm gonna show you a part number. Hopefully the camera can pick up on that. That's the part number right there. I have my finger on it. So the part number here is, this is the original uh, Honda part number. 25940-R, like Robert, Apple, Apple, dash, 010, okay? That's this transmission fluid pipe. This is the pipe that goes from the transmission, and then it routes the pipe to the radiator to cool off the car, to cool off the transmission fluid through the radiator, okay? All right, underneath the car, right away, I thought for a second my main seal leaked, that means it dropped the transmission. I'm not about to drop the transmission. I was a little worried, but they said almost like 400 some bucks, probably, I don't, I'm not sure. They probably said more than that, but I wasn't looking to spend that kind of money on this car anyway. But anyways, on this car, you have number 10. It's gotta have bolts on it. So pretty much this is in that angle, just like that, okay? So, you have a bolt right up here from the top but we can reach it from right here and then you have another, another bolt right behind this over here and then we're gonna take out that and we're gonna take off this and it's gonna be quick fit you see it's leaking right there as we speak it's leaking right now all right so very simple fix get out of there fly and we're gonna fix this right now let me gather my tools and set everything up all right, so the camera is gonna be a little shaky, I'm sorry, but number 10 right there. If you break this number 10, it's okay, because this, this is super rusted. So if it breaks, it's all right. You could probably put a tap screw or this thing up really good with like four or five zip ties and that should take care of it but if you don't break it that's even better all right there you go this one's out it's gonna be stuck to my socket I'm gonna have to figure out there you go that's the number 10 all right so I use the 10 the extension and we got one more up here on this side all right we're gonna remove the extension for that and I do have a swivel head ratchet so I should be able to get it from right here. Five hundred bucks for this job. All right. So let me get this out. Once I have everything removed, and I'm gonna show you. So you're gonna have to figure out how to get that one out of there. Then you have a clips here. Be careful with this vacuum line. It looks rusted, but shouldn't go anywhere that soon. And then we're gonna remove the lines. Okay. So I got the bolts out, you see it's loose. Let's take this off, just push this clamp out of the way. This is the labor they gave me, I guess. It was $600 to remove this clamp. And one clamp up there, another $300, I guess. But if you do it yourself, you get it done for like 50 bucks, that's including the fluid. All right, so all I need to do is loosen up this clamp here to get this hose out. And then I'm gonna try to pop Usually this will break, but you can pop it from the back. But I don't want to break the line, so what I'll do is I'll manage something here. So I'm going to go get a pick. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, got a pick here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get this clip off. This clip is like a retainer. It's not a clip. It's just like a holder. It holds this line together. So if I can open this, once I take it apart, I'll show you what I did, how this, because it's dark in there. If it breaks, what can I do if it breaks? 
but I don't know. I don't know what they was gonna do for 500 bucks. All right, so yeah, that's the clip I removed. You can see it right there. So all I did was I pushed the other end and this came out of there. So this line stays behind. Now, some magic here. A little bit of magic here. All right, there's the magic. I just opened up the mouth of this plastic piece. I'm gonna replace this line down the road, this vacuum line. It's pretty strong, but like I said, this is our house car. Let's not take any chances with anything. Okay, so you're gonna see fluid come down now because everything is loose. Let me grab my needle nose. So what you're gonna do here is, you're gonna twist this so it loses its grip. And then, just try not to rip the pipe. Use both hands and push this hose off. All right, so let me move the camera out of the way. And all I'm gonna do is push this off and push that side off and this whole pipe should come down. All right, so on this side, you do have a clip, couple of clips, like this holding the line, there's one there, and then there's one over here, okay? So two things over there. All right, now, I only got this line left on this side, so all I need to do is yank it out of there. It's gonna be transmission fluid come out. There you go. These little guys, I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna put it onto the new one. So let me grab the new one. So all we need to do is match up the way it goes, just like that. So I'll take this piece off and I'll stick it in here. So. Saving 600 bucks here, all right? 500 bucks or so. So, there you go. The reason why we took this car to a local mechanic was because we don't want to risk damaging the transmission. You do not want to risk my mechanic, but I said I want to risk the car. Transmission because the transmission is going to be a bigger job. All right, we got a few more retainers. So, from here on, all you're going to do is you're going to reverse the whole procedure. And once I'm done down here, we're going to go up, and that's one of my videos going to continue. So I can show you the fluid because we're going to add fluid to this once the job is completed down here. So I'm going to turn my camera off because from here is a reversal procedure. You stick this guy back in, put the clamps on the hoses, reroute the lines and put the two bolts and it's all finished. piece so this goes right here all right so guys wait for me we're gonna go upstairs once I put this in and we're gonna add fluid okay finished out the job all right that little clip I'm gonna have to put a zip tie I don't know what happened it doesn't want to close or maybe I could get it from the top let me give it another shot there you go clicked right in all right so what we need to do is go up on the top and check the fluid level all right don't laugh <laughs> all right anyways so what we're gonna do is pop this out you see my fluid is down barely to the minimum okay so i know i did not damage the transmission so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put a funnel there and we're gonna add one quart only okay that's the body i know i lost about one quart and i'll show you the fluid which you're gonna use so this is a 2004 cord 2002 I'm sorry, 2003 to 2007 is the same, okay? If you have a 2.4 uh, liter engine. All right, and when it got me a funnel, I use this only for transmission. Make sure there's nothing in there. It's nice and clean. So I'm going to dump one quart of fluid in there. All right, so let me just clean this off. All right, let me go get it. This is where I keep my transmission fluids. And there's the one I need. Nice. So this is what you're going to use, original 
fluid all right this thing is only like six seven bucks from dealer let me open this up and we throw one of these in there the bottle opened and i'm gonna put this whole thing in there after that just let your car run let it heat up and just check your fluid level okay if you lost a lot of fluid you might damage the transmission but if you have not done your transmission flush and you do this is the best time okay drain and fill oh just take it easy it's shooting back at me go slow so it can breathe there you go perfect and that's it thank you for watching guys make sure you check your transmission fluid level make sure you let it heat up the car is on perfect flat level just like this one and just check your level that's about it i keep repeating i know that but that's how it's supposed to be